Channel Islands were all part of the Duchy of Normandy. Now when Jersey was part of Normandy, William of Normandy ruled over Normandy and he ruled over the Channel Islands. And as we know, in 1066, William of Normandy, well, he invaded England, didn't he? Defeated Harold at the Battle of Hastings. He took on the throne and he became known as William the Conqueror. Because Jersey was part of Normandy, the allegiance of the Channel Islanders went with William and basically they have remained loyal to the crown ever since. Folks, says 365 restaurants to choose from all in all. Nice, uh, nice old pub come hotel at the end of that. The island of Jersey is nine miles by five miles, 45 square miles in total. It has beautiful beaches. Beautiful. Lovely cove. And lies 19 miles from the French coast. Oh, there's the steps. Bus comes around from St. Elia. There's the bus stop there. Bus every 20 minutes here, folks. You never wait long. Mount of Gile Castle, built in the early 13th century, was the primary defence of Jersey until the development of gunpowder, which rendered the castle ultimately indefensible from the Mount St. Nicholas the adjoining hillside, which overlooked the castle. Charing Cross was placed here in 1977 to mark the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Liberation Square, named in 1995 to celebrate 50 years since the end of occupation. At the centre of the square is Philip Jackson's sculpture depicting a group holding the Union flag. At this place on the 9th of May 1945, advanced parties of the Royal Navy and the British Army liberated Jersey from nearly five years of occupation by the German forces. They and the return of the British flag were greeted by thousands of islanders with relief, joy and gratitude. Elizabeth Castle is on an island in the bay at St. Helia. Getting there depends on the tide. When the tide is out, you can walk over. Maybe you better take your wellies. The other option, and the only one if the tide is in, is by the duck. Part truck, part boat. Another experience when someone else is in control. No seasick tablet required. And it's easier than swimming.
The construction of the earliest part of the castle, including the Queen Elizabeth Gate, began in 1594 and 1603 Sir Walter Raleigh Governor of Jersey between 1600 and 1603 named the castle Elizabeth Castle after Elizabeth I of England The castle was first used in a military context during the English Civil War in the 17th century. During the Seven Year War in the 18th century, French prisoners were kept on the island. A two-storey barrack hospital building was constructed in the early 19th century. The British government withdrew the garrison and relinquished the castle to the state of Jersey in 1923. The state then opened it to the public as a museum. During the Second World War, the Germans, who occupied the Channel Islands, modified the castle with guns, bunkers and battlements. After the liberation, the castle was repaired and was eventually reopened to the public. Thank mm -hmm. you.